Wow, PDP has picked the people they want to use as their presidential candidate. But unfortunately, I was not expecting these people that they actually picked because uh, Nigerians are actually clamoring that uh, presidency goes to a particular side of the country. But, you know, unfortunately, unfortunately, I never can tell that uh, where they picked um, their candidate from. Anyway, guys, I'll bring you more details about all of this shortly but please if you have not subscribed please do so right away and also give this video a thumbs up yes don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you can get updated anytime we drop a new video and don't forget this is saffron media we're here to give you the most trending exciting sizzling hot and exciting reports from nigeria especially in the area of politics and many more so guys ensure you stay tuned and enjoy all of this Yes, it was learned that within the PDP hierarchy, the belief is that Buhari did not win the election against Atiku Abubakar, but muzzled him out with the power of incumbency. The People's Democratic Party is planning to return former Vice President Alhaji Atiku Abubakar as its candidate in the 2023 presidential election as part of efforts to win the election. Top party sources told us that the PDP believe that it is better to repeat the 2019 formula, which it used to contest against President Muhammad Buhari, an election which was deemed to be won by Atiku. It was learned that within the PDP hierarchy, the belief is that Buhari did not win the election against Atiku, but muzzled him out with the power of incumbency. But in 2023, where Buhari would not contest, it is strongly believed that an Atiku candidacy would be able to beat any other candidate of the All Progressive Congress. It was learned that PDP is still divided on the zoning of the presidency because of a battle between Atiku and the Southeast Caucus of the party, who are strongly arguing that it is their turn to take a shot at the presidency. But within the party, many believe that a strong candidate like Atiku is needed to wrest power from the APC first before the case of the Southeast should or would be considered. It was further learned that should the Atiku option fail to fly because of age and other factors, the party might settle for a former Senate president, Dr. Bukola Saraki, as the second option. The PDP presidential primaries held in Port Harcourt in 2018 ahead of the 2019 elections. Atiku beat Saraki to the third position, while Sokoto State Governor Aminu Tambowal came second. But it was learned that some powerful forces within the PDP are rooting for Atiku, following his strong showing against President Buhari in the 2019 election, which the party insists was lost to Buhari's incumbency factor, although it was learned that Tambuwa still has a strong interest in running for the president with the governor of River State, Yesom Wiki, as his possible running mate. It was learned that most governors of the party believe that an Atiku candidacy would be strong enough to battle the APC, which may settle for a candidate from the South, going by sentiment within the party. The PDP has not hidden its desire to field a candidate from the North for the 2023 election. In fact, the party's 2019 election review committee, headed by the governor of Bauchi State, Senator Bala Muhammad, had recommended that the ticket should be thrown open to every interested Nigerian. The committee submitted its report last week. It was learned that the only major obstacles to Atika's candidacy is coming from the Southeast, a region which feels marginalized and is seriously spinning with the party to be given the slot. It was also learned that the Southeast Caucus of the party is also negotiating that in the event that Tiku runs, he should do only one term. He is expected to retain his running mate in 2019, which is Peter Obi. Again, although some forces within the party are rooting for a former Deputy Senate President E.K. Ikwerimadu as Obi's replacement on the ticket. However, a source at the party's headquarters said the leaders of the party are not well disposed to the Ikwerimadu calculation. 
a party chief and said a lot of governors in the PDP have made up their minds that it is either a tiku or nothing. So definitely PDP's ticket is not coming to the south. It is not. Some forces within the party want to use former Deputy Senate President Ike Ekwerimadu to push out Peter Obi. Others said it can't work. Ekwerimadu is over ambitious. He wants to be governor too in Enugu State, even as he is also chasing the vice presidential ticket. The powers in PDP are telling him to go for governorship. The major problem is that the Southeast Caucus is pushing that Atiku should do one term. If he does, if he does one term, Peter Obi will come in and complete the other term. Well, I just hope these are calculation and calculations and permutations would not land them in trouble because if you look at this properly, you see that the permutations are indeed, or the calculations are indeed very serious because they have options here. But the major option they have is that of Atiku Abubakar. And uh, really, I don't think there's any opposition to that because they are thinking that if that does, does not seem possible, that they will go for a uh, former Senate president. Senator Bukola Saraki, and uh, also they talked about uh, E.K. Kwerimadu because they said that E.K. Kwerimadu is over ambitious, and I also agree with that. He's really so over ambitious. Imagine a House of Rep, uh, a, a, a House of Rep speaker, could stoop solo as becoming a member in the House of Rep just because. He did not win the position again, or perhaps he just doesn't want to leave the House of Representatives. It is so shameful that you, that you give the rules, you make the rules, and you also uh, make the final say, you get the final say, you, uh, you had to sit back just because of the kind of money that is being paid. You sat back and remained a member in the House of Representatives. For me, it is a shameful thing because it shows how overambitious he really is. But all the same, we hope that the calculations PDP is making concerning Atiku would... Because not everyone in the PDP is in agreement of uh, Atiku being the candidate, the presidential candidate for the People's Democratic Party. So, well, I hope this their calculations really helps them at the end of the day. So, my dear people, that is it. Thank you so much for listening. Whatever you have to say, please drop it in the comment section. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up you guys are awesome and i really appreciate you don't forget to help us share we'll have a pleasant time bye for now